Well, hi again. I um, found another place before I got home. Oh, it's just unreal. This is called Peterson Beach, and what I've discovered here, um, wow, it's just a, a different environment again. Um, let me see if I can zoom out. Maybe I'm as zoomed out as I can get. I'm about, I'm guessing, about six miles from where I just was at Old Indian Trail, and then I stopped at the Platte um, the Platte River campground. Oh man, there's lightning going on over there. Anyway, um, I saw this little place um, and I decided to turn in and following a very long gravel road I came to just an incredible, incredible place. The sun seems like it's setting but a storm is brewing. Um, when I look I can see the rain coming down in different places. Um, this is Lake Michigan of course. Um, beautiful sunset. Um, wow, like I'm standing kind of on a little perchy area and you see some of the dune washed away there. You see other vegetation growing on top. Um, I don't know if this video can get it. Let me see if I can zoom in now. Far, far out in the distant. Not there, but even further to the left. I don't know if you can get it, but um, is what we talk about when we say sleeping bear dune. That's the mama bear. And further yet out in the water um, is South Manitou Island and North Manitou Island. I can hardly see it on here. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, um, the vegetation is unreal here. Um, you've got dune, dune grass, um, some beautiful flowers growing in the, looks like death of sand. Then you have a whole bunch of, just a little bit further back, you have a whole bunch of trees. And um, some of these trees, I think they've uh, started up from other dead material. Plants die, decay, but it gives wonderful organic material for new life. And once again, the deep in me comes out and um, life is a cycle. And just like our, our world is a cycle and our, um, the earth, um, it's continual. Continually death and living coming to be. Out of death comes life and um, sometimes when there's life there's also death. I, I am sure I'm not making sense to you, but seeing this um, totally makes sense to me and uh, gives me a purpose for learning as much as I can about Sleeping Bear, National Lakeshore, and bringing it to the students I teach, to the people I know, um, even if I can to people I don't know, to try and give them the taste of what nature and looking at a variety of landscapes can do for one's soul. The other thing that I notice um, is the lakeshore and the variety, oh, how it juts out, how it goes inland, and uh, then juts out, and there's reasons for all that. And uh, people who, geologists and earth scientists, they know those reasons so much better than me, but, um, oh, you see that rain coming down over there? Is that cool or what? It was just lightning over here, trying to get that on too, but I don't know if I can. All right, one more time. Way down yonder there is like the southern part of Sleeping Bear Dunes. Uh, the Platte River, Old Indian Trail, and then you traverse the lake shore that can go straight for a while, or seemably straight. And then it juts in and curves, and then way, way out there is Sleeping Bear. Mama bear resting, looking at her cubs, North and South Manitou Islands. And even around that then is where I started out today um, at Glen Haven. 
and let me see the marine place, the maritime place, um, and even further than that is Pyramid Point and Sipping Bear National Lakeshore is like 30 some miles so in one day I have probably mm, traversed about 24 miles of it and haven't even begun to touch it. But in one day I've made, well how many stops did we make? One, two, three, four, five stops maybe? And um, my head is full. <laughs> full of knowledge, full of wonder, full of questions. And I hope yours is a little bit too. Isn't that great? Ha, listen to that thunder. Cool. All right, I really am going home now, okay? <laughs> we'll catch you tomorrow.